Hello, Leo. So this is the reading I got for you guys for the month of March, okay? So this spread is going to talk about what you left in the past, what you don't know about your love life, what's in the new future, what's in the future, what's really going to go on in the month of March for you guys, okay? The love outcome and the general energy, okay? So let's start on what you left in the past. So I got the three of swords. So I see a lot of you guys let go of past hurt, past pain. Um, you forgive people. Um, you forgive um, a past situation, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys really let go of that pain. You're not holding on to that. So this is good. Because um, when you don't forgive people, um, it's, it really block you, okay? It really block you and it creates stagnant energy, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling free. You're feeling back to how you was before. Um, and this is a good thing, okay? Now, some of you guys left um, an air sign out. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and a pass, okay? Now, when I clarify through the swords, I have the Emperor, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, hmm, some of you guys, you're forgiving past hurts, um, but also I feel like you are letting go of disappointment, okay? Letting go of disappointment with somebody um, that you felt like could be somebody you can see in the long run, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles being there and the Emperor. Um, with the Eight of Swords being there, this is like that stagnant energy, but this is also being blindsided. So probably a lot of you guys thought somebody was a good person, okay? And you realize the truth about this person. And I don't feel like you guys are beating yourself up because you didn't realize that sooner, okay? I just feel like a lot of you guys are just closing out that chapter in your life, okay? You're closing it out, okay? So this person could be an Aries Taurus. This person could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay. Now, what you don't know about your love life, I got the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. Strong Virgo. Okay, so if you're done with the Virgo, this is going to be your reading. Um, what I'm getting with this is that this person still wants to work it out with you. Okay. This person still wants you to believe in them. Okay. They still is investing in you. Okay. Because they see that you are abundant. They see that you are like a stable person for them. Okay. Now, when I clarify that, I got the devil. I got the ace of cups, the two of swords, the king of swords, and the page of cups. So I feel like with them, I think they're actually realizing the toxic ways. I feel like this person don't, before all this happened, they didn't acknowledge their negative side. Okay, but I feel like when you guys call them out, when you guys call them out, they start seeing their negative side. They start acknowledging it. Okay, they start seeing that it's it's not healthy. Okay. Um. Yeah, because of the two of swords, it's like they couldn't see it as well. Okay. Now, a lot of you guys don't know that there is a new love interest who is going to be very stable for you. I feel like this person's going to be older, okay? This person's going to be an older gentleman or older woman. Um, but this is somebody who's going to teach you a whole lot, okay? Going to teach you a whole lot. And it's not going to come at the expense of your happiness, okay? It's going to come naturally. This is someone who have a lot of wisdom. They have a lot of love to give. And they see you as a really good person. They see you as a really... A person that, you know, deserve their love, okay? That's what I'm getting. This person could be a Capricorn, okay? If your Jupiter is in Capricorn, I would say this person could be a keeper. If this is a new Capricorn and this is somebody who's um, mature, um, you, you, you can't even tell that this person's not with the bullshit, I would say the Capricorn's a keeper, okay? That's what I'm getting, if it's new. Now... What's in the near future? I got the Nine of Wands. So I'm saying you guys are going to get out of a situation. I already see that. It's like you're closing out a situation. You don't have pain to the past anymore. Like you don't have any bitter energy, okay? Um, you're ready for something brand new with the Nine of Wands, right? You're passionate about this new beginning. And when I clarify that, I got the Four of Cups. Because I feel like with the person that you was um, clearing out the ties with, this is somebody 
I don't know, you feel like you're kind of bored by this connection, okay? The Four of Cups can represent boredom or rejection. Um, some of you guys might feel rejected by this person or some of you guys might feel bored, okay? And you want excitement. I'm getting more bored because I got the Knight of Wands. So it's like you want excitement, you want passion. You feel like you're not that passionate about this person and you want to go towards something that's going to bring you passion. And when I clarify that, I got the Six of Wands and the, the Page of Pentacles. Why I'm laughing is because the Six of Wands represent attention, okay? Leos, we love attention. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and if you got Gemini in you, it's even worse. Okay, so um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys, I might have a hot girl spring, okay? Getting ready for hot girl summer. <laughs> and you guys, I say, you know what? This situation is low-key boring. I'm going to explore my other options. I'm going to see what's going on over there. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. Now, if you're completely single, you are ready to be on a dating scene. You're ready to be like, okay, come through. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. Because with the Page of Pentacles being here, I feel like this is it's like the other person, you may see them as a little boring. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Now, what's in the future? More Virgo energy. Okay, so you guys are definitely dealing with Virgo. Um, now, I got the Hermit, okay? So, when I clarify the Hermit, I got the Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. This person is still care for you. They still love you. They still obsess. <laughs> they still want this to work. They're still investing their energy, okay? I'm not getting that they will back around. I feel like they're going to continue to be trying to be consistent of trying to win you over, Okay, again, that's what I'm getting. Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys are done with the situation. Like, you're moving forward with... You're just moving forward. Because I feel like a lot of you guys feel like this is not your person. Like, you're losing passion. Okay? I don't really think you guys have passion for this person. Um, it's more like you want to go something... You want to go towards something that make your heart sing. And this doesn't make your heart sing at all. Okay? Now... What's really going on in your love life, okay? So I got two cards. I got the Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So yeah, I'm seeing that you guys are taking your love elsewhere. And you're looking for, again, that passion. You're looking for that excitement, okay? That's what I'm getting strongly with the Page of Wands, okay? You're starting a new journey, okay? And when I clarify that, I got the Four of Wands. But you're not looking for any type of connections, okay? You're not looking for situationships. You're not looking for that. You're just looking for a connection that is passionate, that's stable, that's committed, okay? And I got the Five of Cups and a star. However, the person who wants to fix the connection with you, the person who wants to make it work with you, they're really missing you, okay? And they're really wishing that they can have another chance with you, okay? They're really wishing they can have another chance with you. But you guys are moving forward, okay because i don't feel like this is somebody that really bring out the passion now leos we're very passionate people so when our heart is not in it anymore or just not in it period we can't fake we can't fake the funk we can't do that and i feel like a lot of you guys the your heart is not in it and you're gonna move forward okay that's what i'm seeing but this person's gonna miss you okay they're missing you and they they still want this situation to work out Okay, they're being hopeful as well with the star card being here. Um, now, what's going to be love outcome? I got the justice, okay? So, if this person was being disrespectful, if this person didn't respect you, I feel like they are going to apologize, okay? And then I got the nine of cups, okay? Probably this is something that you wanted. You wanted this person to apologize. You wanted this person to act right. And I'm seeing that this is going to happen. Now, when I click on the nine of cups, I got three of pentacles and nine pentacles. Now, for some of you guys... This is you meeting somebody that you really, really do like, okay? And I'm seeing that there is going to be a connection that's going to form, okay? You're not going to be single anymore, okay? You're going to be in a relationship that you really like. Um, this person really like you too, okay? That's what I'm getting. Now, for the general energy, I got the hanged man. So, with the hangman being the general energy, I feel like this represents stagnant energy. This represents confused energy, but this also represents enlightenment, okay? 
Um, so I feel like the confusion is more with um, with the, the other person that you're leaving. I feel like you guys are not operating on the same page. Um, they, they still feel like things can work out with you. Um, but in reality, I feel like a lot of you guys are moving forward without them. Um, the stagnant energy is when you was dealing with them. Things, So yeah, things was not f like forming the way that you want things to form. Like manifesting things the way that you want to manifest. And you feel like you got to leave this situation because it's not going the way that you want it to go pretty much. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I feel like this connection was needed because I feel like this person was leading you to your person. Okay. I don't feel like this person is 100% a bad person. I'm not getting that. Um, I just feel like this was not your person. Okay. It's leading you up to the person, but this is not your person. Okay. Um, now for the romance angel, I got very soon, true love, engagement, and trust. Okay. So with very soon and true love, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to meet your person. A lot of you guys are really going to fall in love. Okay. Not thinking that you're in love, but actually falling in love. Okay. Um, with engagement, again, I feel like this is somebody that you probably going to spend like a long term with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are going to be engaged to this person, married to this person. Okay. Or you just don't feel like things is actually moving, progressing in a relationship. With trust is, I feel like this person, you're going to have great trust with them. Okay. And that's how love is built. Once trust is gone, love is gone. Okay. So I feel like whoever you're going to be connecting with in March, um, some of you guys will be April, May. This is somebody that you really trust. Okay. They, and they, they trust you too. Okay. Now, when I clarify very soon, I got the tower. So very soon I do see separation. Okay. And when I clarify um, true love, I got the six swords. Yeah. Cause you guys are ready to move on, move forward. Okay. Um, with somebody else and when I clarify engagement, I got the five of swords now the person who you leave They're gonna feel like they took a major loss and they did <laughs> Okay, congratulations. They play themselves. Okay, like they gonna feel like they defeated they are gonna feel like damn I lost to Leo. Oh my gosh This is so fucked up, right? That's how they're going to feel because a lot of you guys are done with the situation, okay? Now, when I clarify trust, I got the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to continue to push it forward. You're going to move it forward. You're going to continue to get out of that situation, okay? And you're going to do that quickly. You're not wasting no time. You're not wasting no time, okay? Now, for the Oracle spread, I got in the flow, I got sanctuary and the power of self talk. Okay, so within the flow, again, a lot of you guys feel like this person was not your person at all. Okay, um, you feel like you need to be aligned to somebody who is like you can have a deep emotional connection, deep passion for this person. With sanctuary, um, I feel like a lot of you guys have been thinking deeply. Um, about what you want in a connection, what you need in a connection, what is your emotional needs, okay? What is your love language? How do you want the person to love you, basically? And with powers of talk, a lot of you guys are believing in love again. A lot of you guys are believing in yourself, okay? That's what I'm getting as well. Now, with the angel answers, I got abundance, I got trust again, communicate clearly, weight, and success. So I got double trust, okay? So the universe is trying to say trust of what you actually deserve, what you actually need, what you actually desire, what you actually want, because it's going to be manifested, okay? But you got to believe it, okay? And it's going to lead to abundance. We communicate clearly. I feel like this is you communicating to your um, potentials, partners, about what you um, actually want in connection, what you need, what you desire, okay? And also, this is you having communication within your own self of what you actually want, what you actually need. Some of you guys don't really know what you want, okay? Um, so just be very clear with that. Now, I noticed when you have moon opposite Venus, I have that too, you really don't know what you want. So I feel like a lot of you guys do need to be clear of what you want, what you need, and what you desire, okay? Um, then I got weight, okay? And then I got success. So some of you guys, again, it's probably gonna happen in March, 
or it can happen a little bit later. However, it's going to manifest. Once you be clear of what you actually want, what you need, what you desire, it's going to come through because you're not going to settle for bullshit. And I see you guys are not doing that. You're moving forward. You're not, you don't have time to waste. Okay. You do not have time to waste. Okay. That's what I'm pretty much getting. So I'm seeing you guys are ready for new love. I'm seeing you guys are ready for your heart to be, you know, singing. <laughs> But I do see somebody that you're leaving out in the past. It's definitely hurting. Um, but again, I it's like if you were to stay with them, I don't feel like it was going to progress really, to be honest. And I don't feel like that's what you actually want and desire. OK, so you got to do what's best for you. OK, don't feel guilty. And that's the thing. Like a lot of women, you feel guilty to move on. And that that's what hurts you. And that's what really can make you not fall in love with the person that is the right person for you because you have guilt trip and leos we have a big heart so don't feel guilty at all okay that person had their chance they had their opportunity with you the first time or how many times you give them don't feel guilty continue to move forward continue to slay and continue to be um being be with love okay because I feel like a lot of you guys are letting go past pain, past hurt. You're forgiving people who hurt you. you letting it go. you being free. Okay? So that's the reading I got for you, Leos. Again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfittetarot at gmail.com.